Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel. My name is Caitlin. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. If you like declutters, other things that I do on my channel, I do reviews, I do challenges, a lot of fun stuff happening here. So if you are new, definitely consider subscribing. But today we're doing a declutter video on my lip products. I think eventually I'll do an eyeshadow declutter and then maybe another a third video for everything else like brushes and face products and that kind of thing. I just figured I wouldn't overwhelm myself too much and we're just going to focus on lip products today. So if you like declutters, give this video a thumbs up and let's get started. Okay, you guys, we are on my bed and I'm just going to dump out my lip products. So I have them in two containers. I feel like some people might look at this and be like, wow, that's like a lot. Uh, but for me, that's not that much. <laughs> I am truly a lipstick junky and my collection has definitely decreased over the past year or so I would say. I just have been a little bit more conscious of the things that I'm buying. Another huge part of it was a couple of years ago NYX sent me a huge box full of lipsticks so those have definitely been going expired so I say goodbye to several of them every single declutter. I think right now I'm going to organize these based on what kind of finish they are. So like liquid lipsticks will go in one category, bullet matte lipsticks might go in another category, glosses, etc, etc. So let me go ahead and do that. Okay, so right now I have it in a couple of different piles. So here I have my bullet like cream lip products. I have my glosses here. I have a couple of random ones here. This is the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip Product. I wasn't really sure where to put this. Maybe this could go in glosses. I'm not sure. Uh, and then we have the Ultra Blotted Lip also from ColourPop. Kind of random ones. Not really sure what to put in. This is my matte liquid lipstick collection over here. These are my glitter glosses. Uh, and then we have matte bullet lipsticks and then more like chapstick and stuff like that over there. I just remembered I actually have some lip liners too, so I'm going to add that as a category as well. Let me actually start with these because I feel like it's going to be maybe the least draining for me. Um, so these two NYX ones that I have are extremely old. I never wear lip liner. I feel like it's always a good thing to have, but I just don't wear it. This is so old, I couldn't even tell you. This is their NYX um, lip liner in nude pink. It's fine. I swatched it right here. It still works, but it's so old, you guys. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna get rid of it. This is gonna be our declutter box. So I'm gonna put that in there. And I'm also gonna get rid of this one that I never opened. I bought this, never opened it. This is the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner, and this is in the shade Subversive Socialite. I don't even know if they still make it. So I'm gonna get rid of that. I can at least donate that one because I never opened it. These are all new. These are Jogia lip liners. They gave me quite a few. I didn't open all of them just because, again, I do not wear lip liners. Uh, so let me just do some swatches. We have like a red one. We have a darker red one or like a berry. This one I'll probably keep. This is like a light pink. I feel like I could get rid of this bright one right here. This is in the shade Crush. So I'm going to get rid of that one. So I think I'm going to keep these three ones. We have this one here, this one here, and this one here. We cut my eyeliner collection in half, which is good. And then whatever I do decide to keep, I'm just going to put back in a bag. Okay. Let's go to the gloss section. Let me zoom you guys in a little bit so you can just see a little bit better. I know for starters, I'm going to get rid of a couple of e.l.f. ones. These are kind of new to my collection. I think I might have gotten them for Christmas, uh, but I tried them and I just don't like the consistency. So here we have a lip lacquer and then a lip plumping gloss. They're just a little sticky and I know that because it was a holiday set that they will be discontinued. So I am going to get rid of these. This Wet n Wild lip gloss is very much expired. I actually had this in my project pan uh, and then it started smelling really funky so I'm definitely 
definitely getting rid of this gloss. Let me go ahead and swatch these Jogia glosses. I have five of them here. I really like this consistency. I feel like they did a really good job. I just wish that they would expand their line to include more brown base shades because I do love pink colors, but I tend to always reach for more of a like a um, brownie or a peachy gloss rather than like a true pink gloss, if that makes sense. Here are the shades swatched out. And my initial reaction is to get rid of this really pink shade, but it is really pretty, especially for spring and summer. So I'm going to put this in the maybe pile. This is in the shade blushing. If I have another color really similar to this and another finish that it, maybe I like more, maybe I will get rid of it. If not, these are all really good glosses and they're pretty new to my collection. So I don't feel too bad keeping them all. I think I'm just going to put this off to the side for now, but I will be keeping, I think the rest of these. So I have two butter glosses from NYX. I love both of these dearly. However, they're both expired. I am going to keep this one. This one is in Madeline. This one is in Creme Brulee. Madeline's more newer to my collection. Is it expired? Yes, but I think I might put this in a project pan or something like that because I feel like it's still a good. Creme Brulee is from 2016. That is too old. That is... That is four years old. These last 18 months, and it has definitely surpassed that. So I am going to get rid of this one. I just started a Microsoft Word document just so I can write down products that I get rid of that I truly love and want to repurchase. I would definitely be opening to repurchasing Creme Brulee. We have two glosses left, both of which I am keeping. This is my newest gloss, I believe. This is from Lethal Cosmetics in the shade Nova. I really like this gloss. It's not my favorite formula, but it's pretty good. And then we have Milani's Crush. This is their like a more shine line or whatever. And I love this color. I always get compliments whenever I wear it. It's a really good color. It's very flattering. It's a thicker formula, but it lasts a little bit longer and it's not sticky or anything. So I love these products. Definitely will be keeping. So now for this category, it's kind of like the odd placement category. We have a ultra blotted lip and then we have an ultra satin lip. I'm going to get rid of both of these. This uh, ultra satin lip is in the shade Barracuda. It's really pretty. It's a great formula. I really enjoy the satin lips, but it's from 2016. That's a really long time ago and I just feel like I need to get rid of it. Uh, this ultra blotted lip is not that old. I just don't enjoy the formula. I feel like a lot of people really like this formula, but for me, I hate feeling products on my face and on my lips. I always like with a foundation, with lipstick, with anything, whatever I'm wearing, I don't want to feel like I'm wearing lipstick. And this leaves like a satiny finish. And although it's nice, I still don't want to feel anything on my lips, if that makes sense. So I'm going to get rid of both of these. So in the bucket they go. Let's look at my glitter glosses. I think it's crazy how many glitter glosses I have, yet it is the product I barely ever reach for. I don't like glitter on my lips. Again, it's a product that you can feel on your lips. I think I'm gonna get rid of these three e.l.f. ones. It's a lip lacquer. I think they're all lip lacquers, yeah. Lip plumping gloss. It's just not my style. I don't, I don't love them. It just doesn't work for me. This is an e.l.f. Modern Metals one, and this is a Laura Geller uh, lip gloss. They are both still available for purchase. A lot of the times, if I'm on the edge about something, I'll look up if it's been discontinued, and then if it has a lot of the time, I'll get rid of it. But both of these are still available for purchase, so I am going to keep both of these, and I'm going to get rid of three of these. I feel like we're doing pretty good so far. Now looking at my chapstick and oil like category, I've had this oil for a really long time. This is from Ulta Beauty and I think I'm going to get rid of this one. It's just really old. I should have used it, uh, but I didn't. Sometimes that just happens when you have a lot of lip products. The rest I am going to keep. I definitely like this Burt's Bees chapstick and this is great for removing matte liquid lipsticks or just matte lipsticks in general. So. I've been avoiding my cream bullet lipstick section mainly because of the NYX butter lipsticks that I have here. These I got in, hold on, let me pull my spreadsheet up. These I got in 2017. They are 110% expired, but I love these with my whole being. I love them so much. My dad was just singing in the background. I think that they have replaced these with different names. I don't know if it's the same color. I mean, I feel like I did a really good job. That to me is a good lipstick with a lot of love. It's like cracked, it's dirty, it's, it's probably time for it to go. Oh my gosh, 
I'm so sad. I feel like I need to get rid of them though. I will definitely be adding these though to my repurchase list or find a replacement list. Uh, and yeah, I just love them so much. I'm so sad to let them go, but I really think it's time. The remaining two I'm definitely going to keep. This is from ColourPop in the shade Appy. It's a really nice warm tone cream. Love this so much. This is from Morphe. This is in the shade 4 Evs. This is their cream bullet lipstick. Another one of my favorites. I haven't really been supporting Morphe lately, just some of the things that they've been doing, uh, but I feel like it's fine for me to use this up. And yeah, definitely going to keep both of these. We only have two categories left. We have the matte bullet lipstick section and we have the liquid lipstick. Definitely my biggest section because I feel like for the majority of my time loving makeup, it has been spent loving matte lipsticks uh, and I'm not so much that anymore. This category has definitely gotten smaller and smaller and smaller over the years, whereas I mean before it was... I mean, it would probably cover this whole blanket, how many liquid lipsticks I had. I guess we will start with the bullets over here. I know I'm gonna keep this ColourPop lippy stick. This is in Brink. I really love this color. It's really nice. It's definitely pinker than I normally go for, um, but I really enjoy it. I've been wearing it a lot lately, so this is definitely a yes, and it's new to my collection. This next one is really hard for me. This is from Lipland, and my good friend on YouTube, Jess, got this lip stay for me in our first swap which was forever ago this was in 2015 which is crazy so this is like my favorite red shade ever I love it so much but I cannot deny that five years having a lipstick is too long sadly this needs to be decluttered I will definitely be adding another red shade to my repurchase list because it was so perfect and I need to find a perfect red replacement so if you have a more cool toned red that you really love it's like the classic red I'm very interested to check your guys's suggestions out a couple more random ones to talk about I have a elf Mochalicious one. As you guys know, I don't support Wet n Wild anymore. This is actually a part of my Project Pan. I might end up replacing it with maybe like that Madeline NYX Butter Gloss. We'll see, but I am going to keep this one for now. Then we have a ColourPop Luxe lipstick and then one of my newest lipsticks from Nabla Cosmetics. I'm definitely going to be keeping the Nabla one because it's so new. It is a really pretty nude shade. Love it so much. And then this is in Mind Trick. I think this shade is actually discontinued, which is really sad, but it's not old enough for me to feel comfortable getting rid of. I still really enjoy this shade. It's a really nice warm red, so I'm going to keep both of these. Last up, we have the matte lipsticks from NYX. These are pretty old. These are from 2017. That's pretty long ago. I'm going to do some swatches and then maybe declutter a couple of them. Here are some swatches. I love these so much. I think off the bat, I am going to get rid of this Alabama shade. This like really nice uh, dark deep red. I don't reach for it enough. It is really pretty, but I do need to start getting rid of some of these, so I'm going to get rid of this one. Just to cancel a couple out, I know I'm going to keep these two. This one is a Honeymoon, and then this one, I can't remember. This one is Tea Rose. I think this one is so unique, so I'm going to keep both of those. This is in the shade Sierra. I feel like I found a close enough dupe that I already kept. This is the ColourPop Appy shade, so I'm going to get rid of this one because this one is older than the Appy shade, so bye-bye to Sierra. So we have three shades left. We have this one, this one, and this one. I just just watched the Morphe cream lipstick that we were talking about earlier and this is really similar to this shade. This shade is a Euro trash so I think I'm gonna get rid of this one even though I don't support Morphe anymore I feel like I'm more likely gonna reach for this like cream formula so I'm gonna get rid of this one. So that leaves me with whipped caviar and strawberry daiquiri. I'm gonna keep both of these. All right now for the part I am dreading we have my liquid lipstick collection. Unfortunately, my e.l.f. liquid lipsticks that I love so dearly uh, are expired. I got these mostly in like 2017 and matte liquid lipsticks definitely do not last a long time. You can definitely get away with matte bullet lipsticks and keeping those past the expiration date, but not so much the liquid ones. So I have to get rid of all of these. I love these so much, especially this Modern Metals one. This color is literally stunning, but it's starting to smell bad as well, especially when products start to smell bad. That's how you know you need to get rid of it. I am definitely going to keep my Menagerie liquid lipsticks. These are relatively new to my collection, uh, and I, I do really enjoy these, so I'm going to keep both of them. This is another one I'm going to keep. This is from Give Me Glow, and it's pretty new to my collection. It's a nice color. It's like a deeper mauve. It's 
very like watery consistency, but it is really nice. So I'm definitely going to keep this one. Another one I have to get rid of is from ColourPop. This is in Times Square. This is really old. I think I got this in like 2016. Definitely have to get rid of that. The rest are from either Ofra or Jogia Cosmetics. Even though these Ofra ones are getting pretty old, I probably should declutter these, but these are the only Ofra ones I have left. And I love Ofra Cosmetics liquid lipsticks. They were my favorite for so long. They're like a moussey texture, so they're not as drying. I am gonna keep both of these. All right, the rest are Jogia liquid lipsticks. So this isn't my favorite formula. These are really dry, but the positive about a dry liquid lipstick is that they last a very long time. So let me do some swatches and I'll be right back. So here are the shades, all very beautiful colors. I do think I'm going to get rid of the nude here only because if I'm going to wear a nude lipstick, it's 100% going to be a bullet lipstick. It's not going to be a really matte formula. And like I said, this formula is very, very drying. So I think I'm going to get rid of this one. I've also just decided if you guys remember this gloss I put to this side and I was questioning if I was going to get rid of it, I think I'm going to keep it. Um, I don't really have a color super like this. And again, these are newish to my collection, so I don't feel too bad keeping that. I'm going to keep these. I just feel like I got rid of so many matte liquid lipsticks that it'll be nice to have just a couple to pick from. And there you have it. So this is what I got rid of. I feel pretty happy about that. I feel like in the past, my declutters for my lip products would probably fill the bottom of this. Like it, I always used to get rid of a lot of lip products. That's because I had so many. And right now, this is my entire lip collection that fits in this bag. I feel like that's pretty good. I know for some people, this is like overwhelming. This is like way too many lipsticks. But for me, that is a good amount of lipsticks. I feel very happy with this. Uh, and yeah, I got rid of quite a few so I'm really happy with that. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know you guys really tend to like declutters so if you are new definitely hit that subscribe button. Give this video a like. It really helps me out and stay tuned. I will definitely be doing a eyeshadow declutter and then maybe a, a third one as well. So thank you for watching. I'll leave the emoji of the day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!